Okay, so I want to just go through how to um, book jobs in through the scheduler. So standard kind of Simpro process is to um, book jobs in from the jobs menu and then a service job. But sometimes for a high volume service, this isn't ideal because you don't want to book an entire job and then realize you don't have someone available to go out for maybe an emergency or similar. So if you go schedule and then day view, then there's another way of doing it here. So we've got uh, just a single staff member here um, and a couple of extras just further down. So if I go in here to search jobs, um, just click into search jobs and there's an option for new job. Um, this is how also if you typed a job number in, you'd be able to schedule it out if you wanted to. But I'll just say I want to create a new job on the fly. Um, Simpro will just ask for a cost center. So these may obviously differ depending on your exact business, but I'll just select a particular cost center. And then I can drag out a set of time. So I'm going to send down this afternoon or this morning, sorry, at 11 o'clock. And the job screen then comes up exactly as normal. So. Um, we've kind of uh, gone in reverse. So normally you would um, put this information in, then hit finish, uh, then you probably get the prompt saying, do you wish to schedule the job? So here, for example, we're gonna pull this information in first. Um, and what we're gonna complete. And if I hit finish there, then that's the job booked. So that's job number 25 booked. Um, if I go view projects, then um, if I go back now to the schedule and the day view, then you can see that's already booked in, ready to go to me, um, out to my device if I'm using an iPad or similar. So that's um, pretty much what I wanted to show, but that's a really, really useful the way a lot of people don't spot that. Um, really useful way of being able to uh, check the schedule first and then book someone in.